Hey YouTube, Gordon Miller here from G3. Okay, so um, I, I've been getting a couple of questions uh, as people have been submitting their ideas, and uh, <clears throat> I've gotten a number of submissions uh, in the e-learning space. So this is a space that I know really well. We've been working uh, in e-learning uh, since I got started. Uh, when I went to graduate school, I was a graduate research assistant for uh, two different professors, um, and uh, I was able to work with undergraduates and then graduate students. Uh, I helped build the architecture computing lab uh, at Virginia Tech. Then I co-founded the lab for scientific visual analysis with my colleague, Dr. Ron Kriz. Uh, then I was given the opportunity to found my own lab, uh, and I was director of the multimedia lab at Virginia Tech for five years. Uh, in that time, I, I taught um, a class for masters and PhD students, and uh, I also taught uh, in what was called the Faculty Development Institute, teaching uh, faculty members how to develop um, solutions for the classroom uh, in, in uh, e-learning. <laughs> in my lab, we had uh, about 400 faculty and students working on about 150 projects, uh, and um, it was really the birth of uh, interactive multimedia. I, I, was, I was fortunate enough to be at the right place at the right time in history. Um, I helped contribute to a number of uh, the things that helped bring about the integration of uh, full screen, full motion digital video. Uh, I won an award uh, back in 1994. Uh, I won a silver medal uh, in the New Media Magazine and Vision Awards uh, and um, in, um, in interactive multimedia presentations uh, in educational applications. And, uh, and then uh, we went on to do um, when uh, in, I think it was 1996 or 97, we won again for uh, corporate presentations and, um, and again in uh, technical training. So, uh, you know, I spent uh, the early part of my career uh, really focusing on pioneering these new techniques uh, in uh, premier version, I think it was 3.0 or 4.0, uh, a video interview of me back in about 1994 uh, was in the uh, in the box uh, that if you bought the full license version, the uh, videotape that came with it has an interview with me on it. So, um, and I don't say that to impress anybody. I say that just simply to help everybody understand what my experience is uh, in the area of e-learning. Uh, we were one of the first to set up a uh, multi-platform uh, network-based digital video training network uh, across platform. We had both Macs and PCs running uh, in my lab uh, and. Uh, the folks at um, at MCI were one of the first folks to really kind of pay attention to that as they set up their own internal training network based off of some of the work that we had done uh, in those early days. So uh, I've had a number of submissions for ideas in e-learning and I've been very critical of them, not from the standpoint of trying to beat anybody up, but from the standpoint of trying to help people understand, look, this is a space that uh, is a huge failed social experiment uh, and uh, we have not done the last 30 years worth of students any good uh, with e-learning. Uh, we have stopped teaching as teachers and we have just simply allowed the information that gets developed mostly by people who, who don't even have the credentials uh, to really justify what they're, what they're doing. So uh, I've been really critical of the process. Uh, we were asked at G3 to participate in the standards of learning, uh, content development for training uh, for K through 12 and higher education, uh, K through 12 usually in, here in the state of Virginia. And, and I refused. I, I refused not because uh, I, I you know, didn't want the work. It was a great amount of work. It was a great amount of money. But I just did not believe in the, that the future of education was in that type of e-learning. Uh, and the last 30 years have, have proven that we were wrong. Scores have not gone up. Uh, people have not learned more. The, the scores of people have gone up because Google and other things came about, not because of prepackaged, uh, boring e-learning. 72% uh, of all e-learning and all online courses never even get completed. The dropout rate, the failure rate is just horrific. It is 
unbelievable how bad stuff is. Now the on-demand stuff, like on YouTube or on Khan Academy, or the stuff you can sign up for on Udemy and things like that, I really respect, I really like those. But, you know, it, you know, one of the solutions that somebody had wanted to unite a bunch of different functions, and I'm like, look, you know, the problem with e-learning is not that there isn't enough integration, or there isn't enough consistency or there isn't a great enough user interface none of that is the is the is the problem the problem is is that it is a flawed concept from the beginning e-learning is a miserable failure and frankly I'm sorry that I participated in it over the last 30 years I think that anyone who thinks that the future of education is e-learning needs to put their faith their money and their trust back in the teachers. We have taken the responsibility of teaching off of the teachers over the last 30 years. If they know how to hit play, they can play the stuff or they can give the students the URL or provide them a link in their blog or in school space or you know Blackboard or any of the number of things like that. That's not teaching and I am sick and tired of you know various e-learning solutions going oh my e-learning solution is going to be different you know what your e-learning solution is not going to be different your e-learning solution is not going to change things it is not going to help and I will not help anybody try to change e-learning because it's not going to help we need to go back to supplementing instruction by qualified personnel with technology that the students can use to supplement and complement what the teachers are teaching. But the teachers need to teach. And I am sick and tired of the way that the K-12 education environment in the United States has dropped us to 42nd in the world in math. This is, there is absolutely no reason why the trillions of dollars we've spent in education over the last 30 years should result in the U.S. being 42nd in education behind Bulgaria and Romania and Latvia, for God's sake. I mean, come on. You know, and it, one state in the U.S. spends as much in education as Latvia, yet Latvia is like 18th or 12th or something like that. Come on, people. Get a grip. We need to get back to uh, the real foundation of education. We need to get away from this e-learning bullshit, and we need to get back to education the way it was always done, with a qualified teacher who knows the information, who knows how to engage a student, who knows where to send them to find out supplemental information. I'm not saying all the online stuff is completely useless. It just cannot be the primary method of, in, of interaction with the student. It cannot be the primary method. And and so I'm sorry for getting so upset. And I know that, you know, I've, I've gone off on a number of you who've submitted information about wanting to change e-learning. I want to change e-learning too. I want to completely nuke it and have it go away because it has been a complete and miserable failure. Uh, there is absolutely no reason why e-learning in its current environment should persist. And I tell you what, uh, you know, we have a long way to go but we need to focus on qualified instructors that can guide people through the process and, and we need to use online learning for what it's good for as a supplement and a complement to a really qualified teacher. And for those asynchronous opportunities, there is a, a need for interactive and on-demand materials, but the primary experience is not sufficient in order to be able to, uh, to do that effectively. So. Again, you know, I'm sorry for getting all, you know, it's a Friday, you know, it's it's been a long week, but I tell you what, I, I appreciate everybody who submitted information on e-learning, uh, but, um, you know, it is, if you've really got a, a, something that I, I think will actually change things, I'm happy to hear about it. You know, please keep sending me things on e-learning, uh, and if somebody really has a solution, that's great. But if your competitive edge is you have a nicer interface, or you have a way to take one thing that somebody else has and another thing and put them together, it's, that's not a solution. That's not going to change anything. You can't take two miserable failures and put them together and create something that is going to be a success. You can't take three miserable failures and put them all together and have it be successful. 
If you want to change e-learning, we have to completely take it apart and put it back together in a way that it has not been done before. That I'll support. And um, so, you know, if you've got an idea, please send it, send it my way. I'm happy to take a look at it. Happy to walk you guys through it. But, you know, uh, I, I, I am, you know, I'm sorry my kids had to grow up in an environment that I helped create. Uh, you know, my kids have good grades, but it's, it's, it's in spite of, not because of, the online learning that their teachers use. My kids have the benefit of some phenomenal teachers, and it goes back to having phenomenal teachers. I, I am so glad that my kids have the opportunity for the education that they do. And in our school, we're way above the uh, average in, in terms of the United States. So, um, you know, I feel good about that as well. Uh, but, you know, right now, we need to find a better solution overall. It, it, there's hundreds, o over 200 learning management systems, over 200 content management systems, over 200,000 hours of instruction out there. All of it's terrible. You know, it's, it's, it's just unbelievably how, unbelievable how bad it is. So anyway, enough of my rant for the day. A few of you would ask me, would I comment on this? Uh, I don't feel like writing a whole volume, so I made it a YouTube video. So anyway, thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend. Gordon Miller from G3, signing off.